Hey guys, once again, back in the garage. Uh, thanks for coming out. So I have this nice oak board. It's going to make a uh, coat rack for it. I got the little hooks, you know, cool. But after I had stained it, I realized somebody had hit it with a knife. Just see all the marks. That guy. And they're tough to see when it's uh, not stained. But once it's stained, they jump out like crazy. So I'm going to use the old belt sander and sand this down with 220. I'm sorry, 80 grit paper. And then hit it real fast with uh, 220 at my orbital and throw some more stain on here. We will uh, update you. And uh, once again, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty. That should do it. Now, I got my uh, 220 on my uh, orbital walled orbital just run that back and forth it's smooth but with the uh, 220 it'd be like glass so there we go <laughs> Once again, I should be using a tack cloth, but I still don't have one, so I'm going to do the old Beaver Island tack cloth. Wipe this junk off of here. Throw some nice fruit wood on there. Fruitwood really brings out the nice color in the oak. And this is just like staining the uh, countertop. I want a little more color on this guy. This is a different color than the countertop, but um, the more I uh, the more I let it sit. darker it's going to get. Just again, want to make sure there's no bare spots. And then just paper towel it off. And then just paper towel it off. Now all my scratches and cuts are gone. And let this dry up. I'm gonna put it in front of my little fan over here and uh, this should not take too long to dry. And then uh, and uh, throw some poly on there. I'm just going to throw a couple real light coats of poly just to make it resilient and nice and shiny. So, all right, guys, that's uh, Coat Rack 101, and we'll be back for the finale. Thanks, guys. Okay, we are finishing up our cut rack. And throw some poly on here and be done with it. Uh, 
Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more. We'll be back.